Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, in this video we will learn a very important tool for front-end developer which is Postman because this is used for testing the APIs and which is uh, very important for front-end developer. I will tell you how but first of all, let's uh, just go through with the points. We will learn what is Postman, how we can install Postman and use it. After that, I will tell you how we can test our APIs with the Postman and uh, one interview question. And if you just want to join me on Instagram, then this is uh, my Instagram ID. So as you know, if you are a front-end developer, then you must have to work with the APIs, right? Because we cannot connect our front-end frameworks or library with the database, right? So to connecting with the database, we must have to use APIs. And uh, let's say you are working with some APIs and you are getting some kind of errors. Then how will you know that these errors are from your side or from the API side, right? You cannot get that. Uh, might be uh, there is some API error or might be you are hitting the wrong URL, passing the wrong parameters. Anything can be happen. That how will you actually test it? For that time, you can use the Postman, right? So Postman is basically used for test and validate your APIs, right? It, uh, for example, you just want to sign up, then uh, you can just uh, send some request with the username and password from Postman and you can check that this API is working fine. When you just find that this is perfectly working, then you can integrate it in your code also. All right, so first thing is that how we can, all right, so just we close this uh, Postman first of all, because we will just learn everything from a scratch. So we will, uh, let's see that how we can install it. So there is a two way to install. One is you can download its uh, setup. So just right here, Postman download, right? Just go to its official website. And uh, whenever you will click on this, it will just ask that uh, what uh, uh, kind of configuration setup you need. Let's say you need a 32 bit or 64 bit. So you can select anyone. Uh, then you can see that uh, the setup have, have around 100 MB in size. So I'm actually not prefer this because it will just take too much time to install and it will take lots of space. So there is a second way to use it. Even you can use this way also. This is also great. There is no problem. But the second way is I think uh, more reliable, which is you can use your Chrome extension. So just right here, Postman Chrome plugin, right? and uh, you can just click on first one. Whenever you will land on this page, you will find that you have a button here for install app. I have a button for launch app because in my uh, computer, Postman is already installed, right? So whenever you will click on it, your setup will be installed for a Postman. And you can launch from here, right? Or as well as you can uh, uh, in, uh, launch from applications then just you will find there all your applications which is you installed in your Chrome and uh, then you can just click directly here, right? Now, whenever you will open on a first time, uh, it might be asked for uh, uh, sign up and login and all. So you can ignore these kind of things for a moment because they are not really, really required, right? And uh, uh, you will find this kind of framework here. You will just see the history, whatever you did and whatever, how many, um, uh, APIs you just tested here, you will just get listing all these kind of things here, right? So here we can put our API URL. So for example, this is my API URL, right? Localhost this and to do. And you can just see, here, right? So because first of all, I just want to see that uh, a get API is working perfectly or not, right? So you can just click here and you can see that get API is working perfectly. We got a status code, time, as well as how many data we have. We got it's everything in a JSON. So, but now you can think that, but this is still uh, working on browser here, right? So why we just need Postman? Okay, uh, this is, uh, I'm agree with you. For a post request, uh, for a get request, we don't need Postman. If we don't have any uh, authentication send header kind of things, right? But we, if we have the headers and value repair, then we cannot just uh, get result only directly to the browser. Then we must have to use Postman. Second thing, when we are working with the delete, put, patch, and uh, uh, post APIs, that time we must have to use a Postman, right? So let's say, uh, as you know, 
uh, in my these APIs, I have uh, four uh, records, but I just want to add one more record, right? So that uh, how we can add it. So for that, just uh, select here post method, your API URL, right? This is my API URL and uh, just go to the body here. Inside the body, just select here row and JSON here, right? And here, here you can just add some data. What data we needed here? We need a four uh, things, ID, name, email, and mobile. But my uh, JSON server actually created ID automatically. So I just need these three items, right? So just put it here. So now you may be just confused that how would I know that what kind of data I need to send? For that, your API developer will tell you that you need to just send the password and you need to send a username, email address, whatever he will ask, you need to just send here, right? If API is working on a postman perfectly, that means everything is working perfectly from a backend or API developer side. Now you have to do all these things, you know, react, right? So let's say how we can send a name. So just write here name and uh, let's say spider man, right? Then um, let's say email address and uh, email address we can just simply put here uh, spider at the rate test.com and the last one is mobile and uh, in mobile let's just, just sending some data like uh, 7777 right and whenever I will hit it then now you can see that we got a status 40 uh, sorry 201 right and we got a ID of 5 automatically so now you will just come uh, uh, back again on your list and send it again and now you can see that we got our five data so with that way you can send a post request also all right so like let's say you just want to uh, update this uh, data that how you can update for that you can use here put request right and uh, then just paste this url and what you want now you just want to update your uh, mobile number right and email address so that just come again up post like this and paste it here right so let's say mobile number i want to change double line double line and spider at man.com right and uh, so now uh, we have this request but which id we want to update for that just pass here id let's say i just want to update a fifth id right and just send it now you can see that everything is okay and try again with re this request now you can see that id uh, with the five we have uh, uh, updated mobile number as well as updated email address also so let's say you just want to use a delete method then uh, you can just uh, select a delete from here and just so I, I send the id what uh, record you want to delete so you can just send it and now if you will check it now you can see that you again have only four records so don't worry that how would you know that what id you want to send to here the everything will uh, you can just ask to your backend developer that uh, let's say uh, your backend developer not de deleting the record the behalf of id he actually de deleting the behalf of mobile number then uh, you might need to send your mobile number here right or something so he will tell you that what kind of data what kind of request you need to send him right so that's all for uh, the postman if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and uh, for interview question you just need to tell me that what is the difference between patch and put right i told you about the get post put delete but i didn't tell about the uh, patch so just let me know just google it or uh, just try on the internet then what is this the patch api in interview sometime uh, interview just ask that what is the difference between put and patch there is a very very tiny difference in both of these uh, methods right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of question ask me on comment